When our oldest daughter, Jan, brought her third daughter home from the hospital, I went to her home to help. We decided that what Jen needed most was rest. So the best help I could give was to take her daughter Chloe home with me so her mom and new baby sister could have some quiet time. Are you ready to come and play at Grandma's house for a while? Uh -huh. Okay, good. Thanks for doing this, Mom. I really appreciate it. It's nothing. Most important is for you to rest. I will bring Chloe back this evening and we'll help with supper. Thanks. Great. Okay, let's go. Bye, Chloe. Have fun with Grandma. Are you so excited? Okay. Here we go. Okay, you climb up to get in your seat. What are you going to do today, Grandma? Chloe, you have to stay buckled in your seat or we can't go to Grandma's <laughs> house. <sighs> Chloe, you have to stay buckled in your seat. Go on. buckled up in your seat. When we get to Grandma's house, we can play with Play-Doh. No? Okay. If you stay buckled in your seat, then we'll bake some bread when we get home. How about that? Okay, Chloe. If you stay buckled, we will stop at the market and get a treat. Deal? There I was having a power struggle with a three-year-old, and I was losing. We couldn't sit in the car all day, and it wasn't safe to drive while she was standing. I offered a silent prayer and heard the spirit whisper, teach her. Chloe, I wear my seatbelt because it will protect me, but you aren't wearing your seatbelt. And if you got hurt, I would be so sad. You want me to wear my seatbelt because you love me. That's right. Here, I will help you. Now, Chloe, will you stay in your seat this time? And she did, all the way to the market for a treat. And she stayed buckled all the way from the market to my home, where we made bread and played with Play-Doh because Chloe did not forget. We may feel at times that God's laws restrict our personal freedom, take from us our agency, and limit our growth. But as we seek for greater understanding, as we allow our Father to teach us, we will begin to see that His laws are a manifestation of His love for us, and obedience to His laws is an expression of our love for Him.